bitten but not shy, understanding resilience in language. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting phrase, bitten but not shy. This phrase is a great example of how language can encapsulate human experiences and emotions. So, if you've ever wondered about the meaning behind these words and how they can be used in everyday English, you're in the right place. Let's get started. First things first, let's break down the phrase, bitten but not shy. At first glance, it might seem a bit puzzling. The word, bitten, typically refers to the action of being bitten, literally by an animal or insect, or figuratively by a bad experience. On the other hand, not shy, suggests a lack of hesitation or fear. When put together, the phrase describes someone who Despite having had a negative experience, the bite does not become fearful or hesitant, is not shy as a result. It's about resilience and the ability to face challenges without being deterred by past setbacks. To understand how bitten but not shy is used in everyday English, let's look at some examples. After a failed business venture, yes, I was bitten once, but I'm not shy about trying again. The lessons I've learned are invaluable. In personal relationships, she's been bitten by past relationships but is not shy about opening her heart to love again. Career setbacks, he was bitten in his last job when the company went under, but he's not shy about jumping into a new role in a different industry. These examples show how the phrase can be applied to various situations in life emphasizing the courage to continue despite difficulties. Understanding and using the phrase, bitten but not shy, goes beyond mere vocabulary enrichment. It taps into the cultural value of resilience, an essential quality in facing life's challenges. In English-speaking cultures, there's a strong appreciation for individuals who demonstrate the ability to bounce back and not let fear hold them back from new experiences or opportunities. By incorporating this phrase into your English, you not only enhance your linguistic skills but also convey a deep understanding of a valued personal trait. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, bitten but not shy. We hope this video has not only expanded your English vocabulary but also inspired you to embrace resilience in your own life. Remember, it's not the setbacks that define us, but how we rise above them. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful English language learning content. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.